I'm Aiman, and welcome back to one of my auto repair videos. In today's video, I'm going to showcase this Optima charger and show you how to use it in order to charge a car battery. In my previous video, I showed you how to charge a battery using a manual battery charger. So go check that out if you're interested. But without further ado, we're going to get right to the process, which is pretty simple. All you have to do is take your clips and hook them up to the corresponding terminals. Of course, positive goes to the positive terminal on your battery and negative goes to the negative terminal on your battery which indicated by the minus and the positive signs respectively and then we're going to plug in the charger so as we as i plug it in i want you to look at the charger i'm going to keep you away look at the charger just to see what it looks like when it starts up Okay, so you can see everything lights up and right now it's trying to calibrate or actually right now it presents us a menu of you know pick one of the batteries that you want to use you know you could use a regular battery an ultimate battery a motorcycle or auto marine and so because this is a regular battery we're just going to use the engine starting button and now it's going to be calibrating and analyzing the battery And so the reason that you would want to use uh, this Optima charger over a manual battery charger is because Optima char a charger like this has a built-in uh, safety mechanism. It stops charging the battery once it hits 100%, 100% or hits full charge. Whereas with a manual battery charger, it does not stop. It continuously supplies power, which could run you the risk of the battery overcharging and, you know, heating up and maybe even exploding. So that's the main, the main reason you'd want to get this Optima charger. This means that you have to continuously check the manual battery charger to make sure that it's fully charged and then disconnect it when that happens. The only drawback with the Optima charger is that it has a, a very high setup time. We didn't time it, but it seems like it's about two to three minutes for it to analyze the battery to make sure to, to, to be ordered to charge it. So. Compared to this, this one you just plug it in, you, you turn it on, and it starts charging uh, uh, instantly. This one has to set up first. So that's just uh, a minor drawback. That drawback could be important if, some, if you accidentally knock the clips off the battery. It means that you have to reconnect them, and then you have to go through that whole setup process again of two to three hours, uh, two to three minutes before it starts charging. By the way, this Optima charger costs about $140. It's on Amazon, so if you're interested in buying it, we'll link it down in the description below. Apparently, this also has reverse polarity protection. So we're going to try to uh, reverse the clips, uh, which terminals we plug them into. And we're going to do it on video, so we can see what happens. And if something goes wrong, then we can uh, send in the claim to Optima and get it replaced. Okay, so let's reverse them. Let's go positive to negative and negative to positive. What could possibly go wrong? Reverse polarity wiring fault. Oh, let the camera adjust. Yep, reverse polarity wiring fault. And this red check indication line uh, light comes up. It says, make sure that you check that all of your clips are plugged in properly. Okay. Nice. And it also says C manual. So that's that's pretty good. No, no, no explosions this time. And of course, the engineers thought of a thought of the fact that some people might put it in the wrong way, and so they implemented that as a way as a safety mechanism, so people didn't accidentally charge it the wrong way. Very cool. But I'd say that that drawback is much more worth it than having to check back on the manual battery charger, you know, every hour just to make sure that it's not uh, overcharging. Your mileage may vary, it's up to you. Okay, so it's done calibrating now. You can see that it tells us what charge that the battery is currently at, which is about 25%. Uh, it also tells us at what rate the charger is charging the battery at. This seems to say 12 volts at about four amps. All right. And there's a few uh, LED indicator lights down here. Of course, uh, it says temperature, connect. Um, compression on 
and of course the charger is connected properly. Okay, so at this point, all you have to do is just let it charge. When it finally fully charges the battery, it's gonna say fully charged on here. And we'll probably take a clip when that happens. But for now, all you have to do is just let it charge. All right, so that's all there is to the Optima charger. Of course, it doesn't just have to be used with Optima batteries, it can be used with other batteries, like this normal battery right here. It also doesn't just recharge, you can also recondition batteries, which means that you can keep it hooked up to a battery and when that battery falls below a certain voltage, then this can charge it back to 100%. You know, just like charging your phone. Okay, so that's all for this video. I'm Ayman, and thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and look at other videos on Ayman Ayman. Especially check out this video on the manual battery charger and see how each method uh, compares because each of them have certain uh, advantages and disadvantages. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. I'm Ayman, and signing out. Okay, so it's the next morning and the battery is fully charged. As you can see, it's at 13.4 volts and it says that right now it's maintaining the optimal battery. And so yesterday I said something about conditioning. Uh, that was actually the wrong term. I meant to say it's maintaining the charge. Conditioning means something else. But now that means our battery is ready to be reinstalled.